99% of traders fail, but have you ever wondered why? In this video, I'll be giving you eight things to avoid to be part of that 1%. The first thing is the misconception of trading. With social media playing a big part of this with fake gurus and quote unquote mentors who are posting 100% plays on a daily basis, making you think that's the reality of trading or what trading should be. Yes, trading does involve big home runs, but the key to growing your account is consistent base hits. Take what the market gives you, and when the opportunity is there, go for it. The second reason why most traders fail, and probably the most important one of all, is most traders come in and try to rush their career. They don't want to back test, they don't want to paper trade, they just want to come in and make thousands of dollars on a daily basis. How do you expect to do that? Just like anything in life, you have to practice. You can't just come into a brand new game you've never played before and expect to be great at it. Just like NBA players, NFL players, doctors, lawyers, how much of practice or studies did they have to go through before they became successful? Everybody sees my big wins and my lifestyle, but everybody seems to forget that I've been doing this for seven plus years now. That's the time it took me to be good at this. Focusing on fundamentals seven years ago is what got me to where I'm at today. And I can tell you personally, just focusing on money will only negatively affect your career. The third reason why traders fail is picking the wrong mentors. I'm going to give you something very simple and easy to look out for. Any mentor that you come across asking for a live login. I don't want screenshots. I don't want pictures. Tell him to record from his phone to another screen. I don't want Chrome because you can do that, you know, back end stuff where you can edit the screen, do it on Safari, record on his phone, let him refresh the page on his brokerage account and see what he has done. If that mentor hasn't successfully made money in the market, what makes you think you can by doing what he does? Asking for a live login isn't doing too much. If the mentor tells you they're not gonna provide you with a live login because they don't feel comfortable to, or they feel like they don't need to prove anything to you, that should be a big red flag on its own. I post my live logins on Instagram so that everybody has access to it, and I've done it on YouTube plenty of times. The fourth reason why traders fail is because they're looking for an indicator to tell them when to buy and sell. Trust me, if it was that easy, we would all be billionaires. Stick to tape reading. Times and sales, level two, volume, trends, support and resistance levels, and supply and demand zones. Anything more than that is just a distraction on your charts. The fifth and one of the most important reasons why traders fail is not choosing the right size. This is actually pretty hard even later on in your career. Whether it's sizing up, sizing down, you need to know how to identify A plus trades and executing on them. Not every trade will be an A plus setup. Like on a daily basis, I won't be going in with my full position. I'll choose whether I wanna go in with a quarter position, half position, and maybe even my full position if it's an A plus setup. A lot of people get confused when I say full position. Full position does not mean all in. Full position on my account, for example, let's just say I'm playing with a $100,000 account. A full position could be about $30,000, $40,000. Now, when I'm taking a quarter position or a half position, that could mean $20,000, which I'm using, what, 20% of my account? So please don't get confused when I say full position. That does not mean all in. Throughout your trading career, you'll find the right sizing for your account and know when to size up. That's the whole importance of paper trading and back testing your strategies. The sixth and probably the most important reason why traders fail is risk management. Now I'm gonna keep this very simple because I've made plenty of videos on risk management. I've explained that multiple and multiple times. I'm gonna give you something that'll really help you. If you're just starting your trading career or you're going through a rough time in your trading or career, reset your mindset. What I say to focus on is for the next 60 days, vision yourself being flat. All I want you to do is focus on being flat in the next 60 days. I don't want you to be green, and obviously I don't want you to be red, but your goal in the next 60 days is to be at the exact same account balance you are today. The reason I say this is when you focus on being flat for the next 60 days, you're not looking for home runs and you're focusing on your stop losses. When you focus on being flat, you're going to be strict on your stop loss. When you're strict on your stop losses, you're not going to allow things to just go past your stop loss and be like, maybe it'll come back. You guys are always hopeful for your trades to come back. And in the green, you guys don't want to take profit at 30, 40, 50% because your guys are looking for that 500% home run. Now, when you focus on being flat, 
you're no longer looking for those big home runs and you're going to be strict on your stop losses because you have a goal at the end of those 60 days on being at the same exact account balance. The seventh reason why most traders fail is focusing on deposits and withdrawals. Whether you're at the beginning of your career or struggling throughout, I need you to forget that deposits and withdrawals even exist. Why is that you ask me? Well, when people come into trading, the first thing they think about is how much money can I pull out a week, every two weeks, every month? And subconsciously, that's going to make you focus on taking a trade every single day. And what people don't know is I don't take trades every single day. If there's not a setup there, I won't be at that desk for too long. I'll walk, get up and walk away. Instead of sitting there and saying, all right, I have to pull out $1,000 at the end of the week. I'm going to sit here and make sure I trade today. And the other problem is deposits. I need you to forget that deposits even exist. Whatever you have in your trading account, I need you to continue playing with that. A lot of traders think they can just deposit money whenever they feel like, whether they get paid every week or every two weeks, they think that, all right, if I lose money in the market this week, I can always just deposit. I need you to forget that that even exists. You can't deposit any more money. That'll allow you to focus on discipline and your risk management, thinking that you can't add any more to your account because whatever you have is what you're gonna continue with in the next 60 days. The eighth and final reason to why traders continue to fail is not respecting trading. A lot of traders think they can come into this, not put in the work, not prepare the night before, not come up with pre-market trade ideas before the market opens, and then not journal at the end of the day whether they're green or red. And that's just a disrespect to people who have done this for years on years on years. Even after seven years of trading, I still do all the simple things. I still prepare the night before, I still study the market before it opens. I still journal. Imagine that I still journal, write down all the things that I did wrong, all the things that I did right, what I was looking at. Even on green trades, I still come up with the things that I did wrong during that. And if you think coming into the stock market, you're not gonna do any of those things, and I'm sitting here doing all of that, and you're gonna be successful at trading, now let me tell you something, you're gonna fail, and it's gonna be a fast one. And if you stay disciplined to these eight things that I mentioned in this video, you'll be successful at trading.